Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I am trying to be consistent on my channel, keeping the videos coming. I think I've done um, about three or four videos weekly at the moment, and I just wanna keep it going. So I'm trying my best to be consistent. Um, so um, at the moment, I can't tell you whether it's gonna be weekly videos or not, but I'm just gonna keep them coming. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying these videos that I'm bringing out to you. Um, but today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you um, all the products that I'm currently using on my hair because I get questions all the time about what products I use. Um, I have shared them previously. Some of the ones that I've used before a little bit, um, well, I'm not really using anymore. Some of them I still am, but I just thought I'll sit down, go through all the products again. Um, because the last one I've done was back in, um, was it January 2020? So that's quite a while ago. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go through all the products that I'm using and kind of share my hair routine as well. So you can kind of see how I'm using it. Um, so hopefully this will be useful. But firstly, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Uh, my name is Julie, and on my channel, you'll find lots of hair care tips, tutorials, hairstyles, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you haven't already checked out my channel, go ahead and check it out. And if you like what you see, then make sure you subscribe. Okay, so I'm gonna start off, and I'm gonna run you through everything. So I'm gonna be sharing with you the shampoos that I'm using, the clarifying shampoos, um, the deep conditioners, uh, moisturizers, um, curling products, gels, um, oils and butters, literally everything. So um, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first product that I'm gonna share with you is the um, Myel Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo, and this is from their Pomegranate and Honey line. Um, so yeah, this is a sulfate-free shampoo. Um, as I've previously mentioned, I like to use sulfate-free products on my hair because it doesn't strip my hair of its natural oils and moisture, and it kind of leaves my hair feeling nice and soft. So um, this product I've been using for um, probably about, let me see, maybe about since, since November, I think it was, um, when I'd done a collab with the company and they sent me some products. So I've tried it out and yeah, I'm still using it because I do like how it is on my hair. Um, um, so yeah, it's really good for keeping my hair like kind of feeling soft and kind of hydrated, not dry after I've washed my hair. So I do like using this product and it also smells amazing as well. I don't know if you guys have smelt this, but it smells really, really good. So yeah, this is the um, Mil Organics Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo and it is sulfate free as well. Um, a new product that I've actually started using is um, the uh, Kerastas, I think I've pronounced that right. It's the Curl Manifesto, and it's a gentle, hydrating, creamy shampoo. Um, I used this for the first time on my last wash day, which was uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, and it was actually really good. Um, it just made my hair feel really soft as well, you know, kind of like a nice, kind of smooth, silky feel, and you know, I was quite surprised by that. It made my hair feel really, really good, and it kind of removed um, build up on my hair as well. So yeah, first use was really, really good. Um, um, I've also been sent um, this product by the company. They sent me their full range, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. So once I do, if I feel like there's stuff to share, then obviously in another video, I will let you guys know how I found, find this line. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, Kerastas um, Curl Manifesto Gentle Hydrating Creamy Shampoo. Let me know if any of you guys have tried any products from this, this line before, um, because I have seen it about quite a lot and it looks really good, so I'm excited to be giving this a try really, really soon. Okay, so moving on to the clarifying shampoo. So some of these ones I did share it in my last video. Um, I have been using, um, okay, the Main and Tail Clarifying, this is the, sorry, the Gentle Clarifying Shampoo. I have shown this before, I don't know if I showed it in my last um, video, but I've been using this for a really, really long time. Um, it says gentle clarifying, so it's not too um, really, really drying because obviously clarifying shampoos are designed to kind of remove deep down product buildup within the hair that kind of sulfate free shampoos can't do. So um, I do use this and my hair doesn't feel really, very, very completely stripped. It does feel a little bit slightly on the drier side, but not as harsh as some other clarifying shampoos that I've used. Um, so I tend to like use this on my hair um, probably just the once, shampoo it once and then rinse it off. But if I feel like there's still product build up, then I'll go in again. Um, but generally, just one use of this or one shampoo kind of gets rid of everything. The other clarifying shampoo that I'm using is the Palmer's Natural Fusions um, Clarifying Shampoo. Um, this one is good as well at getting rid of build up. Um, I actually prefer the um, 
the gentle clarifying one this one over um the palmer's one because i feel this one kind of makes my hair feel a little bit more dry um so but yeah i do use this it is good at doing the job as most of us know the clarifying shampoos are going to strip everything out of your hair it's like starting like a refresh starting from scratch it leaves your hair clean 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 so um i use this as well and the other product that i use is the twisted sister clarifying shampoo um and this is another good one as well that again is really good for cleansing my hair and just removing product buildup. Um, and what I do is I tend to alternate between all of those products. So once one of the products is finished, then I'll put, you know, I'll basically move on to the next one and then move on to the other one until they're all finished. Um, and then once that's all done, then I kind of just reuse the same products again because I'm someone that likes to stick to the same products. If I feel that it works well for my hair, I'm not somebody that's always switching up my products all the time. Um, so, you know, as they say, if it, if it ain't break, if it ain't break, if it ain't broke, then you don't fix it. Um, so yeah, I've been using those and so far so good. So I kind of just stick with those um, and it works well for me. So moving on to the deep conditioners. Um, and if you've been following me for a while, I know you know what's coming. <laughs> so um, the replenishing olive oil um, replenishing conditioner. Um, yeah, this product, as I say, I always say the same thing. I feel like I always say the same thing. But yeah, this product is really, really good. This is a light protein conditioner. So it contains both protein and moisture because um, our hair needs a balance of both, um, which I did mention in one of my videos um, before about, you know, the importance of balancing our hair with both protein and moistures. It was a seven common mistakes video. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. But um, yeah, I talk about, you know, obviously needing to balance our hair with both protein and moisture to kind of prevent our hair from breaking. So I mentioned a product that I use. It's this product here. Um, as I said, the ORS Replenishing Conditioner contains both protein and moisture and it helps to keep the hair balanced um, I've been using this product for a really long time um, you know there are obviously separate products separate protein products and separate moisture but I've just found that this product works well for me I've never really kind of really used much protein on my hair you know for, throughout my whole journey it's kind of just been this this product and then I've maybe tested a few other stuff on the side but I always come back to this one um, so this is a really, really good product. So guys, um, yeah, moving on to another one. This is the As I Am um, Hydration Elation. Again, this is a light protein conditioner as well. Contains both protein and moisture. Um, I've been using this for a good while now. Um, I kind of just have this on the side that I use when um, I don't have my ORS replenishing conditioner. So I'll then pick this up and use it. And it kind of works well as well. Not as good as my ORS one. But this is a, a very close, it follows closely behind. So it's really, really good. Um, so yeah, those are two products that are light protein conditioners. So if you're looking for something like that, then I'll, again, I'll put all of the products that I'm going to mention will be in the description box. If you want to try any of those out, then do check the links below as well. So one thing I want to mention as well, in terms of these conditioners, um, every time I wash my hair, which is every two weeks mostly, I will then obviously um, deep condition every single time and I deep condition using heat um, and I like to sit under my hooded dryer. Uh, um, using heat is more intense, you know, it's going to kind of really kind of um, lift the cuticle layers of the hair, allowing for the conditioning products to really penetrate the hair shaft. So that's why I always like to use heat when um, deep conditioning. Um, so yeah, these are, I use these every two weeks, every single time or each time I wash my hair, I'll always follow it up with a deep conditioning treatment without foul. So moving on to my moisturizers. So um, my last update, I actually um, shared with you um, the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy. So um, this product is really good. It's actually a detangler, okay? I did mention before that um, I bought it to, to use for helping to, to detangle my hair, but I found it really good for keeping my hair moisturized as well. So uh, I will use this on my hair as often as needed. Before I was moisturizing my hair um, twice a day, morning and night, but I've since cut down on that because what I found is that the more moisture I put on my hair, the more my hair shrinks up and the more tangled it becomes. So I started to use a lot less moisture, um, which has also saved me a lot of money as well because I was getting through these bottles like, like they were water. Yeah, it was literally just, I was using so much and I used to use it on my, my daughter's, both my daughter's hair as well. So I was getting through bottles of these like, like no one's business. So I decided that... Um, yeah, I just need to use less on my hair and I'm finding that my hair is not as tangled as before. Um, so yeah, this product is really good. Um, 
you know if you're looking for like um you know a moisturizing product to moisturize your hair try this out i know some of you guys have because i've had people tell me before that yes they've used this and it's been so good and you guys have like thanked me for kind of recommending this so yeah if you're looking for a moisturizing product then you need to check this out as well okay again it's all going to be in the description box um for the links to where you can get the products from okay so guys another moisturizer i've been using i've gone back to one of my my products from like years years back and that is the world of curls oil sheen spray let me know in the comments if anyone remembers me using this from way back when. Um, I basically stopped using this when I went natural. Um, reason being is because um, I was trying to like look for ways to style my hair. Um, like I was wanting to kind of like experiment with twist outs and braid outs and all these different looks. And I know that this product contains um, glycerin. So it, it, you know, when you use glycerin in your hair, it kind of makes your hair... Um, especially in heat it kind of makes your hair frizzy and it doesn't hold styles well so I kind of put that to bed for a while but um obviously I've been natural like just over four years now so I brought it back out again and this product is just I remember why I used it because it's just so moisturizing right since I've kind of added this back into my routine I don't really have to moisturize my hair that much anymore um and you know glycerin is one of my favorite ingredients my favorite humectant it just makes my hair feel so soft and the moisture lasts for days so when i'm using this i can moisturize my hair say in the morning and i won't have to moisturize my hair again until say um maybe two days maybe three days later so yeah i've gone back to this um which is really really good so this is the world of curls um oil, oil sheen moisturizing oil sheen spray which I love. One thing I should mention about this product as well is the ingredients are not the best. It does contain parabens, but when I'm using this, I don't actually spray it on my roots too much, so it can't then absorb into my scalp. I kind of use it on my hair, like kind of like a few inches down on my ends, a lot on my ends, and then throughout, you know, the mid um, shaft of my hair, but not on the roots. And then that way, I know that you know it's not going to be damaging um to my health in any way or anything like that if i'm using this product um but yeah it, as i said it is a great product but obviously do your own research and look into the ingredients before you use it so that you feel comfortable before picking this up so the next product that i've started using just a couple of days ago is um the another one by kerastas and this is their refreshing um spray so it says yeah it's the second day curl refreshing spray um yeah i started using this the other day and i find it really good actually it made my hair feel really soft and smooth um it's a leave-in product um but to be honest with you when it comes to products that moisturize my hair whether it's a moisturizing cream or a leave-in to me it's all the same thing as long as it is designed to kind of inject moisture into my hair then I'm going to use it. So um, it doesn't necessarily have to be used just after you've washed your hair because obviously when you wash your hair, you kind of wash, deep condition and then add your leave-in. But whether you use a leave-in or, or a moisturizer, to me, it doesn't make a difference. As long as you are injecting some kind of moisture back into your hair, it's all good. Um, but yeah, this product is really, really nice. It smells amazing as well. Um, and yeah, so, so far, so good. Um, but yeah, so this is the Kerastase um, Curl Refreshing Spray. Okay, so moving on to products that I use for twist outs. I haven't done a twist out in like ages. I can't remember the last time I done one actually. Um, but the products that I, I do use when I am actually doing it is um, the Myel Pomegranate and Honey Twisting Souffle. Um, yeah, this product is quite good. Um, it's, the consistency is kind of light actually um but yeah i always i use this product so obviously it does kind of set my hair really well and i always leave my twist ins for about three days at the most and then take it out um for a nice and defined look um another product that i use is another one by the myel range this is the moisture rx um hawaii and ginger um moisturizing hair butter i've used this as well for a twist out again very similar results to what i get with the pomegranate and honey line um so those are the two products that i'm using i was using the um eden body works hydration custard i've run out of that product and i just haven't replaced it um because as i said i like to kind of go through products that i've got unless i'm like okay yeah i need that product back then i'll buy it but these two products um, are pretty much good at, at giving me the results that I want. So um, those are the two twisting products that I'm using at the moment. Right, okay, so moving on to the gels and the edge controls. Um, so let's start with the gel. Um, one of my absolute faves, absolute faves is the um, As I Am Smoothing Gel. 
I'm always using this. This is my main gel. You know, this one um, does the job in kind of slicking my hair. This is like the foundation. I use this um, when I'm creating like my high puff like I have today. I will um, <clears throat> start with the smoothing gel on my entire edges all the way up to my puff. And then after I've done that, I will then <clears throat> go in with the Twisted Sister um, Nourishing Edge Control Gel. So this is like the, the last layer that I kind of lay over my hair. And this gel is really good. It's soft, but firm. It's got a firm hold at the same time. So it kind of really lays my edges nicely. Um, and then I'll kind of tie my edges down with my um, satin headscarf for a little while to keep it laid. Um, and then take it off after a while when I'm ready to take it off. Um, but yeah, this, this combo is what gets my edges slick, guys. So for those of you that are always asking, what do I use? This is the combination. Um, and this gel, this as I am smoothing gel, it doesn't leave any flakes on my hair. Um, not unless I'm kind of putting put it on or putting it on my hair every day back to back for a week, which is what I don't do. But you will experience flakes if you're constantly using this gel. I rarely do. Um, leading up to, let's say for example, it's leading up to wash day, and I've applied this a few times throughout the week. By wash day, of course, there's gonna be flakes and stuff, but I don't use it that much, you know? I don't really slick my edges as much as I used to. I like to give my edges a break. Um, but yeah, I don't really get any flaking with this. Um, and I don't get flaking with the Twist Assistant Nourishing Edge Gel either. Um, both products work really, really good together because you know sometimes when you kind of mix products, you get flaking. So these two do not um, do not flake together either, which is why I love them. I've been using it for a long time. Um, so yeah, these are some good products of mine that I love using. And yeah, I'll use it for, as I said, slicking up my hair or any sleek styles. This is what I will use. Okay, guys, so moving on to the oils and the butters. So um, if you don't already know, I have made my own DIY Ayurvedic herbal oil. Um, I do have a video on how I make it. Um, I'll put the link in the description box as well to show you. But I do use um, some, as I said, Ayurvedic herbs. So I use um, Brinraj and Brahmi powders. Um, I've also got MSM powder in here, fenugreek seeds. I do use a couple of oils as well. Um, let me just get my phone just to double check to make sure that I'm telling you exactly all the oils so I don't miss anything. So I like to add almond oil in this, grape seed oil, um, peppermint oil, lavender oil and rosemary oil. And yeah, this is a really good combination. And if you don't already know, um, Ayurvedic herbs have so many great benefits for our hair, you know, for hair growth, um, for kind of helping to kind of thicken the hair, um, to help with like shedding, a dry and itchy scalp, so many different things. So um, when I'm using this oil, I like to use it for, um, well, I was using it for scalp massages, pre-poos and sealing moisture into my hair. But since this no oils, no butter thing, um, I'm not even gonna call it a trend because a trend is something that is short-lived. It's here today, gone tomorrow. But with this no oils and no butters, it is something that people um, are doing long-term. So yeah, I'm calling that a thing that people are doing. Um, yeah, since that time, it's kind of made me kind of reanalyze using oils on my hair. Um, I think it was back in uh, May or June. That I kind of came across it and started to think about, you know, considering whether I was going to use oils or not. And to be honest with you, I haven't really been using oils to seal my hair for quite a while now, um, interestingly enough. Um, and I haven't completely eliminated it altogether, but I'm still kind of trying to figure this whole thing out to see how it works for me. Because there are, there is, a, they do say, well, apparently you're hearing that you're not supposed to use, um, you're only supposed to use gels on your hair and foams or um, mousses. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not supposed to use anything else and you're not supposed to moisturize your hair throughout the week until your next wash day, a week later. And some of those things I thought, how's that gonna work for me? So I just thought, let me take what I can from it and incorporate it into my routine to see how it works for me. Um, surprisingly, my hair hasn't suffered without having oils in my hair to seal the moisture in. But I do like to um, apply it to the ends of my hair because the ends are the, the driest and the oldest. So I kind of like to add a little bit of oil just to the ends um, every now and then. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to get back into doing um, lots of scalp massages though because, you know, I was really consistent with doing that at one point. But I kind of like, yeah, kind of kind of stopped doing it um, because there's no oils things. I was, trying to, I was trying to work things out. 
But yeah, I'm going to get back into using this again consistently. Um, I made a fresh batch the other day, so I need to get through it all. Um, so that is my Ayurvedic herbal oil. And also another thing is I make my own DIY um, shea butter cream as well. Um, and yeah, again, the same types of oils that I put into the Ayurvedic herbal oil, I put into my shea butter as well, along with shea butter. Um, and yeah, I kind of use the butter on my ends because I've never really been someone that uses heavy products on my hair. Um, obviously shea butter is heavy, but I have used it in the past and I did really like it, but sometimes I'm a little bit heavy handed with products using way too much. But now I just, again, I use this on my ends as well, just to seal, seal the ends. It's good for kind of helping to reduce and minimize split ends, you know, just smoothing them in and keeping them sealed and protected. So I like to use it on the ends of my hair. And again, I'll use that, um, I'll do that whenever I feel it needs it, needs it really. Um, there's no set amount of time, just whenever my hair feels dry, I will add that to my hair. So guys, that pretty much sums up this video. I've shared with you everything that I'm currently using. Um, if I've missed anything, then please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm actually going to be trying out some new products soon. Some hair brands have sent me some new products, which I'm excited to try because if you've been following me for a while, you know, I kind of stick to the same products, which is all good because if something works for me, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to be switching things up, but I'm at a stage on my journey where I know what my staple products are now and I'm, I'm kind of ready to try some new things, you know, and I'm excited to try some new things. So um, if I come across any great products amongst the products that have been sent to me, I will definitely share with you. I'll probably do another video in the next three to six months doing an update um, with the, so hopefully some new products that you guys can look at. Um, so um, yeah, I look forward to doing that video um, sometime soon. Um, but yes, guys, let me know in the comments, as I said, if there's anything um, that I didn't mention that you'd like to know about or um, if there's anything else you need to know. Um, but other than that, thank you so much for watching. Please do click the like button if you enjoyed it. Um, share it with someone if you feel, of course, that they'll benefit from this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Love